Good morning. You know, a lot of people ask me, why did I get a creepy house in the woods that's probably haunted? Uh, the reason is, it's just so peaceful here. I love coming here. There's no neighbors. I could watch movies as loud as I want. I go on the deck and, and, and scream into the woods. Not that I do that, but I really don't get much time to enjoy it. And uh, I'll be moving to Seattle soon, so... Um, I'm still keeping the house. I, I just love it here, so I'll just come back every once in a while. And what I really need to unwind and be in the middle of nowhere, this is this is where I'll go. Just got back last night at midnight. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. Got to head back to the airport. I gotta go to Denver for a few days. I'm gonna tell you why when I get there. Also, just want to give a quick shout out to HelloFresh, who's partnered with me on this video. Not even joking. When I'm here, I live off the stuff. So a little cooking later. But right now, let's go to Denver. Look at that. Yeah. that, that's neat. Yeah. Oh. So apparently this hotel is haunted, right? That's what they say. This is Cassie, by the way. Hi. Wow. First time staying at a haunted hotel. Seriously, this hotel is supposed to be haunted. It's like over 100 years old. It's haunted. Wow, this hotel is nice. I mean, it looks really old on the outside. Vintage, I'm sorry. Um, rooms are very modern, beautiful. The reason I'm here is that a lot of you guys know I have a channel called Beyond Science. Haven't uploaded in a while. I will, I definitely will. And through Beyond Science, I got to know this company called Gaia that works on a lot of mysterious, like unexplained stuff, like stuff that I, I'm really interested in, mysteries. And they're based here in Boulder. And tomorrow they're having me on one of their shows to talk about my experience, not not with ghosts or anything, but my experience practicing following going to meditation exercise. A lot of you guys know I told you about that I practice that is banned in China. If you wanna know more about what I'm talking about, I'll put the link down below for you. So anyway, that's why I'm here in Denver slash Boulder. Um, so I'll be in this hotel one night and then I'm gonna stay a couple a couple nights just to explore the food scene a little bit. It has some fantastic Vietnamese food last time I was here, so can't wait to repeat that experience again this time. I am absolutely starving, so let, let, let's go eat. Downtown Boulder is really, really pretty. Oh, this feels so good just to walk around. Oh, there it is. Jack's Fish House. Oh, everything here looks good. All right, appetizer. Got the charbroiled oysters. These definitely look very watery. And then I got the seafood chowder. This, this looks good. It's about 4 p.m. Of course, like what 6:30 in New York. I'm starving right now. So, first real meal of the day. Pretty good. I think the best grilled oyster though I've ever had in my life. New Orleans. Uh, when I go next month, I'm gonna show you guys. So amazing. Seafood chowder. Scallops, shrimps, or some clams in here. They definitely stuffed us full of seafood. Some mussels. Ooh. Fresh seafood. A really creamy chowder. You gotta get some hot sauce for this stuff. If you guys never added Tabasco sauce to clam chowder, seafood chowder, whatever chowder, trust me, you need to start. Oh yeah, so much better now. It's gonna keep you warm when you walk outside. Got a couple pounds of crab. I never thought I'd be in Boulder, Colorado eating eating crab or seafood in general, but um, when I see crab on the menu, I, I just wanna order it. And this stuff, they always come out looking not as good as they do on the menu. Plus, th this is like $60. Yeah, I think I probably ordered the wrong stuff. I might need a second dinner after this. It's good, but definitely not gonna fill me up. The place is good, service is awesome. I just 
Why did I get crab? I should have got a fish dish. I mean, crab is never economical if you're not at a buffet. And it's just normal Dungeons and Snow crab. That was that was a bad move on my part. That's that's not the restaurant's fault. That's my fault. Crab's always gonna be good, but horrible value. And I'm still hungry because crab is what I eat when I'm taking a food break at a buffet. Okay, what I've noticed about downtown Boulder is that it's very hip. The restaurants are super trendy. Mainly fusion stuff is not really my type of food. I, I love traditional foods, the mom and pop kind of shops, and that just does not exist here. So, maybe just go find a burger and call it a day. Got a tri aged burger and some coleslaw. Dinner number two. This looks pretty good. That's a satisfying burger. That was a decent burger, but I think in general, uh, the food scene here at uh, Boulder <laughs> really isn't my cup of tea. <sighs> There's much better food in Denver. I, I love the Vietnamese food over there. It's actually fantastic. So I guess tomorrow's when the real food day begins. Now, just gonna hit the gym, go to bed. See you tomorrow. Just found this display in the hotel. That's creepy. I'm uh, just waiting for the car to come and I'm going to the campus of Gaia to start this interview. Um, they're, they're having me film this little skit thing when I get off the car, so I had to memorize lines. Memory is so bad. I'll see how this goes. It's a pretty big space. Tons of buildings. This is massive. One room, just two treadmills. That, that's like, that's it. Interview was really fun. Now we're gonna do the promo part of it. So I'm at the main Gaia office here. I'm gonna do like a like a long continuous shot of something. It's like acting. Ah, oh, be kind of fun to be an actor. It's like just pretend to be other people. You ain't gonna memorize lines. Now. I can't memorize anything. Okay, back at the Hunter Hotel. The interview at Gaia went amazing. Such great people. And now I just gotta get my bags, get an Uber, and get out of town. Home sweet home for the next two days. That's pretty, huh? It's all like artsy and stuff. Ah, nice view. Cool, so hip. Whoa, it's not even a bathroom. You just, it just goes like that. It's like, I'm in the bathroom, I'm in the bedroom. Bathroom, bedroom. Shower, private pooper. Just saying, this this will be a really awkward room if you have a bunch of friends staying here. But nice and clean, like it. I'm gonna get some rest, food in about two hours. Hi, food time, and it's pretty chilly, so I know exactly what I want. Vegeta, no, not that, not that. There we go. I've been waiting for this for a while, so that's why I got big bowl of pho. That's not enough. Come on, don't be ridiculous. Second bowl of pho. That's not pho. I'm sorry. Second bowl of noodles. No soup. This is this is. I love this little fish sauce, some chopped pork chop, some grilled shrimp, spring rolls in here. Dump some fish sauce in. I love this. I can't never decide um, which one I want. That's why I get them both. One dry. One soup, and then of course some summer rolls. This, this is what I've been needing since coming to Colorado. God, I miss this. All right. Oh God, I love. Uh, I can move to Vietnam and just eat pho uh, every single day. Will never get sick of it. I will be rich because I'd be able to keep all my money because this is only like three dollars in Vietnam. This place already great impression because just dish. That's a lot of meat they give you. The cloth is really, really clear. Oh, that's good. This place is great. You should come here. Mm. Yeah. This already is better than any place in New York. I don't get it. Any of these people, why are you not in New York? You're in Denver. Come to New York. We have less snow, I promise. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Now I feel like my life essence is coming back. It's pushing all that crab I ate out of my system from yesterday. This is what my body runs on. Cut me open, broth comes out. Don't judge me. That's the creepiest pho monster ever. This is a huge bowl of pho. Eight bucks. This tastes much better than all those $15 bowls of pho places back in New York. This is why I love coming back to Denver. The Vietnamese food here is so top notch. Love it. Ah, it feels so good right now. This is my combination rice noodle bowl. I love this. Spring rolls, parsley, cilantro, chopped. Vietnamese pork chops, you can't beat that. Nice pieces of shrimp, got the grill marks on here. All charred looking and just splash in some fish sauce. Oh, this is one of my favorite dishes at Vietnamese restaurants. Mm. I love that so much. Almost equal. God, that's good. That's so good. Mm. That's the weak part of their game. But the rest of the stuff is amazing. That was exactly what I needed. We're gonna hit the repeat button tomorrow because I'm gonna do Vietnamese food again. So I got the bill and I, and I thought they'd give me a rose. I was so happy. Yeah, today for lunch, eating pho again. And, and tonight for dinner, Vietnamese food one more time. I live in the woods, gotta get all I can while I'm here. I got a couple summer rolls. This one is stuffed with uh, lettuce. It looks like some grilled pork. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Grilled pork on the bottom. There's a little crispy, little fried dough thingy here that gives us just the most magical crunch. The wrapper is so thin, look at this. This pork should be a shame wearing something to see through. This is so good. Next dish, spicy, garlicky edamame. This should be healthy and delicious. And then look at this. Just this bowl of uh, it's like just red. Noodles look great. Got mine with a ton of brisket. Mm. I think I like the broth from yesterday a tad more, but it's a solid broth. And this big bowl of noodles, only 10 bucks. This is great. Mm. That's a really good place. Oh, you can't beat how good fun makes you feel. Savory being up. So last time I was here, I ate at a, at a restaurant called, what was that called? Moon Saigon. And then, so this is the same restaurant. Same owner, but different restaurant. That's Brenda, she's shy. Oh, check it out. Is that me? That's either me or Jackie Chan. I, I don't know. Could be either one. First course, their unique chicken salad. This is their specialty. They say, I have to try this. Oh my so gosh. Oh, good lord. This is a feast right here. Oh, good God, this is amazing. So we got soft shell crab here, grilled pork, spring rolls, shrimp here. What is this? Escargot. Escargot in the middle, so snails in the middle. Oh, this is a crazily beautiful dish. This is just a crazy sized clam. I'm so used to like being able to pop clams in my mouth and this thing can eat my face. Mm. Oh my God, I love this. Mm, little sweet clams, a little bit of scallions with a little garlic sauce. This highlights the sweetness of the clam. This is a nice bite. My biggest complaint about clams is when you take a bite, it's tiny, but not here. This time, it's a monster bite. So these are, oh my gosh, whole pieces of chicken. That's a nice chicken leg. Um, grab some chicken, some vegetables, put it on a shrimp cracker. Thanks. That's a really refreshing chicken salad. Now one thing I love about Vietnamese food is how much, like even though there's tons of meat in here, they balance it out with so much vegetables and they manage to make it taste good. This is my favorite thing to do. Last year when I came to Denver, my first time um, trying one of these rice wraps and I messed it up pretty, pretty badly. So here's what you do. Put it in there, one full circle really quickly and take it out, that's it. Then you grab some veggies, a little bit of lettuce, basil, 
mint, cucumbers, grilled pork, and a shrimp pork roll. And this is why I fail um, the most. Yeah? Mm, one of my favorite things to get in a Vietnamese restaurant is right here. Should we on the outside, you bite into it. Such a delightful crunch from the spring rolls. Oh, happy day. Gonna add some of the escargot as well. And a piece of the other shrimp. Gonna make this little seafood feast. This is gonna be really tough to wrap. Let me try to handle this. The only solution is kind of break apart the legs a little bit. Arrange the shrimp. And I'm, I'm just gonna use some force here. Here we go. This is not gonna be pretty, but mummified. Why well, I should say, Vietnamese rice rolled. Let's dip this monstrosity. I think it's pretty good. I really love soft shell crab. I feel like this is my best roll yet. I had to unhinge my jaw a little bit to eat this, but worth it. Dessert time. Whoa. A good dinner deserves a good dessert. Exactly what I need after that. I don't remember them having this item. But this is pretty darn good. Pudding is nice, the mochi is nice. This might just be my favorite meat fresh experience. Okay, so, basically, my time in Denver is over. You just go home, food coma, tomorrow, fly back to New York. See you then? This is Chase, the best bit of us. Oh man, this is the greatest day of my life. I want to eat the steak with you one day. One day I want to eat the steak. All right, one day, buddy. <laughs> awesome. I, need, I do need some help. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. It. That's a lot of people. Back in New York, dire need of some Sichuan food, and I'm gonna try this place out. Legend of Taste. Let's see if it's indeed the legendary. <laughs> gotta go back to Chinese food. Good stuff. This looks halfway decent. Let's see if it tastes halfway decent. Dan Dan noodles, not bad. Alright, wontons look really, really thick. I'm not holding out high hopes for this one. That's a miss. Way too thick. Saliva chicken. It's not as gross as you think. It just means that when you see it, you start drooling. That's just okay here. Best version of this dish I ever had was uh, Vancouver. This sauce is okay. Chicken is slightly a little tough. Probably won't be able to take on that chicken in the fight. Next dish, try hot pot. Okay, so I was hoping for like thinly sliced beef. It's actually bigger chunks of beef. This kind of looks like a pepper steak that our restaurant used to make in the Midwest. Ooh, stir fried potatoes. Thank you. That's one of my favorite dishes. Flavor is good. Beef's a little chewy, but nice use of spices. <laughs> Feels good. Probably the best thing here. This is a fried eggplant and it's cooked with chili peppers and peanuts. So this is like a spicy, nummy, Sichuan style fried eggplant. I'm more attracted to this than the actual eggplant. Oh, that's great. We can bite into the chilies. That's great. Eggplant. This is the best dish they did here. This, if you ever do come here, this is the dish you should get. Perfect, crispy on the outside, juicy eggplant inside. Spicy, fragrant, great dish. That is top notch. I wonder. I'm gonna dunk the eggplant in this chili sauce just a little. I like that. I do like that. Yeah, this is a great, great dish. Now the question is, to Chinese dessert or not to Chinese dessert? I think I'm full. Let's go home. Hey, it's the next day, got, got some sleep, got a haircut, and I am absolutely starving. So, like I said in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, and this is actually my favorite sponsorship of, of all time. Just because when they weren't sponsoring me, I'm paying for their, their food anyway, so. Today's choice is, we have pork and veggie bimbimbap, amazing apricot chicken, which I think will be the healthiest option, and a meatloaf balsamico. Yeah, let's go for the bim bim bop, shall we? It says prep 10 minutes, total 30 minutes, to calorie 8 10. That looks good.
And there we go. That's mine. That my my meat's on the bottom, but it looks pretty close. Add some more sriracha and just give it a little mix. Yeah, there we go. Bim bim bop. Got to mix the rice and the veggies and the meat around. Here's my big plate of food. I know this is like for two people, it's two servings, but I treat two servings as my serving. That's how much I eat for, for lunch or dinner. Like I said, even before they sponsored me, I, I ordered them anyways just because I hate going to a grocery store. And plus, this way I know exactly how many calories I'm eating. It's really easy to prepare. It said 30 minutes, took me about 35. Pretty accurate. And the food, pretty darn good. And that's pretty much true for every single recipe I have from them so far. So also great about this, if you're not good around the kitchen, recipes are really, really simple. They're pictures basically, so if you can follow instructions, you can cook this meal. I hate going to the grocery store, I hate waiting in line. I like my food delivered to me, and this is fresh ingredients delivered to you. You can choose different meal plans, from classic to family to veggie. Guess what I got? It's not, it's not veggie or classic, tell you that. Usually when I'm out on a trip, I, I eat whatever I want, but at home I try to keep my intake down, and it's actually not that expensive. It's about $6.99 per serving for, you know, pretty healthy food delivered to your door. So if you wanna get started with HelloFresh and get eight meals for free, that's basically $80 off your first month of order. Just go to hellofresh.com. Sorry, let me just take another bite here. Excuse me. That's hellofresh.com, promo code Mikey Chen. 80 right here promo code Mikey Chen 80 the links also available for you in the description box below. All right guys Thank you all so much for watching. I gotta eat dinner. So I'll see you later